Machakos County, about 60 kilometers from Kenya's capital, Nairobi, is an area known for its semi-arid climate, making for challenging conditions for growing crops due to inadequate rainfall. In Katumani village, however, a breakthrough has been reached. Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, KALRO, in partnership with the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, SEAT, has developed bean varieties that can be able to yield handsomely despite the harsh conditions of drought. <laughs> One of the reasons why we developed this bean was to address the issue of drought and heat tolerance. As you are aware, usually in this region, we have a very short growing period of the, the, the crop. So we had to address that short period by developing beans that mature very fast and they are not tolerant. Because the main issue here is drought. Farmers in the region have had to contend with low produce, or worse, none at all, due to insufficient rainfall. So they needed beans that would grow without the need for the usual amount of water required. The development of the beans started way back in 1991 when the researchers collected samples of the varieties being grown locally, which were Mwezi Moja and Mwitemania. Once collected, the researchers crossbred these varieties with Katumani bean 1 and 9. The end result was the Katumani X56 and X59, beans that are tolerant to diseases such as rust and charcoal rot, and that do not give one gas after consumption. Some of the other beans have been bred with the, the market preference, like there is the yellow beans, which doesn't have gas, are sweet, and they cook very fast. When they cook fast, that means they use less water and use less firewood for cooking because the more fire you do use, the more you destroy the forests. These beans reach maturity in 60 to 65 days and not 90 days like other bush beans, a huge advantage to farmers who enjoy more yields at a reduced harvest period. Uzuriwake. The advantage is no matter how little it rains, you will harvest a substantial amount as compared to the regular beans that cannot withstand heat. This bean matures faster and produces a lot of yield, depending on how you have prepared your land. Running a program known as All Climate Change Agriculture, Food and Security, the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, SEAT, is responsible for equipping farmers with knowledge to enhance eco-efficiency in agriculture, assisting in the development of the bean that would withstand hotter weather conditions. The interest is to ensure how do we maintain the levels of, uh, for example, heat, and therefore, you know, other research institutions, uh, for example, in Seattle has developed a variety which can tolerate two degrees higher than normally uh, the, the, the upper limit of what the crop can grow. And in that respect, it allows farmers to grow beans beyond the areas that they grow now or under conditions of a relatively higher temperature than they have been growing before. With the development of these drought-resistant varieties, the normal beans may soon be phased out of the market. Uh, most of the old bean varieties that were bred will start becoming increasingly extinct because they are unable to tolerate the increased incidences of drought and increased incidences of heat. And that's why the breeding programs are continuing breeding for beans that will tolerate drought and heat. The new bean variety has also been reported to do well in other drier parts of the country like central Kenya, Rift Valley, Homa Bay and western Kenya. The potential to export is also expanding with the varieties being shipped to India, the Middle East and Europe.